Hey guys, this is Adrian and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 with model of i9205. The Mega 6.3 is a clearly an evolution of Galaxy S4 design, with rounded corners and curved back. It's a very bit of Samsung device and carries forward the same design. However, the roundness is more a kind of like the Galaxy Note 2 than the Galaxy S3. But the display itself much larger than the Galaxy Note 2 screen. And that smaller device already had us discussing whether it was a phone or tablet. The Galaxy Mega size issue is something that you put off a lot of buyers but it's an entire reason for a phone to exist. It's the gorilla of phone. <laughs> it is not a very high end specs but you do get a very large 6.3 inch screen. You actually get a fairly mid range phone. Large footprint of the Galaxy Mega 6.3 means it's very difficult to use single handy. We managed to hold the phone in one hand to read, and one hand browsing is certainly possible. But most of the time, you'll need to use two hands to operate it. What is easy enough to access the right mount, power, or lock screen button, and a left mount volume rocker single handedly. It is nearly possible to reach the home, menu, and back buttons below the screen. The Galaxy Mega 6.3 might be mega screen size, but it's not really mega in spec certification. Its screen has a 720p resolution of 1280 x 720 TFT LCD display, which works out of 233 ppi. While this may be considered a flow of modern phone, but it is still very much acceptable and really good. Considering the fact of the Mega 6.3 is naturally used further away from the eye due to the larger screen. The display actually feels like any other higher density display we have seen and used and that's a really good thing. So this device is powered by dual core 1.7 GHz Cryt CPU with Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 chipset with Adreno 305 GPU and a 1.5 GB of RAM. You can choose between 8 or 16 GB of built-in storage and this device is 16 GB version. You can extend the memory by using micro SD card. The back cover is made of a hyper glass plastic that Samsung favorites in recent years can be opened. Below is a 3300 million battery which can be removed too and is very bigger than the Galaxy Note 2. Right next to the battery is combined micro SIM and micro SD card slot. The card are stacked, the micro SIM at the bottom and the micro SD on top. The battery box the way, so you have to put out and change one of the cards. The Galaxy Mega 6.3 battery life and found it was pretty good. Almost 20 hours of talk time and over 8 hours for both web browsing and video playback. The cameras of the Galaxy Mega 6.3 are nothing special. It's neither a flagship nor a camera centric device, so our expectations were quite low. With a decent 8 megapixel sensor, the camera sits on the bottom of the back, mainly because of the device extremely thin. Accompanying the camera is a single LED flash. It's recorded in Full HD 1080p resolution, video at 30 fps, and has two microphones to record the audio in stereo. Coming to the software, the phone runs the latest Android operating system, which is Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, with a very similar experience on the Galaxy S4, and is skinned with Samsung's latest TouchWiz UI overlay. The Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 features a standard set of proximity sensor and ambient light, a 1.9 megapixel camera and a status LED, all clusters around the earpiece. On the other side of the screen, you do get a traditional arrangement of the hardware home button and capacity menu and back keys. Around the back of the device, there's an 8 megapixel camera lens centrally placed at the top. Below the camera is a LED flash, and at the bottom of the back is a loudspeaker. At the top of the device, there's a secondary noise cancellation microphone, a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, and an IR emulator. The bottom of the Galaxy Mega 6.3 features with a micro USB port with MHL functionality. The microphone pinhole is next to a USB port. On the left, you do get the volume rocker, and on the right, you do get the lock screen button. Alright, that's pretty much my review of the Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 with model of i9205. 
Thanks a lot watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my video. And I will see you guys in my next video.